but um, uh, this, the, the county declared this the year of the, of the aging. And we're, we are spending a lot of time and a lot of, of staff work on finding, seeing needs for seniors, getting them involved. Getting them involved is, is, is one of the biggest things. And so, I, so we're going to have a silver tsunami or we're going to dye our hair, one of the two. What should the county work do? We're probably the oldest county statistically, and, and the numbers are such that I think 44% of the <coughs> county we're in with 65 and over about 15 years. How does the county address that? What services could be provided to assist those folks who are aging in place? Well, I live with my 82-year-old mother who runs circles around all of us, and she's here today, us tonight. So I love my, my adore my mom. So I'm very um, cognizant of, of our seniors. What can uh, the county do to help our seniors? Well, in my profession, it's heartbreaking. I'm hearing from more and more seniors that are having to sell their homes that have lived here for 20, 30, 40 years because of the excess of taxes and seniors are not exempt from bonds and so the cost of living is so high so th these are our seniors that have protected our open spaces who have nurtured our, ch our children and um, they are being taxed out of this uh, and feed out of our county because of the cost of living. So I think we need to address uh, those issues too. Um, I've also uh, done workshops on my own uh, about senior parcel tax exemptions, helping our seniors navigate through that maze. Uh, we do have some great uh, programs for seniors. Um, the Margaret Todd Center is fantastic, and I think we need to work on better shuttle services for our seniors to, um, so that they can have more mobility.